Facts. Oh God, you got that famous Dex stuff on um, queued up? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, got you. Um, I want to talk about famous Dex real quick, young rapper. Now, I personally don't know any of this off of music. I'm not gonna lie to you, mm-hmm. but like a couple months back, the brother was on live and he was seen nodding, falling asleep. We've all seen that nod before. I did a video on viral. I don't know if we did it together or if I did it solo. I don't, I don't even remember at this right. time, but I, I said that he was over there nodding. His team and his squad needs to get this kid help because he obviously has addictions and demons that he needs to get a grip on. And his circle around him don't seem to have a good strong hold on him. One, because why are you filming this? Two, why don't you get this kid some help before he goes down the road? We see Mac Miller die. We've seen a number of other rappers die because of substance abuse. And this is a culture that these young kids, millions and millions of followers, are, are listening to and gravitating to. Mm-hmm. He dropped something on IG. Oh, God, if you want to play that, then Riz, I want to get your perspective on that. I just want to thank God. I don't do Zans, the lean. It's over with, you know what I'm saying? God is good. God is great. I just want to thank God for everything. I want to thank my supporters. I want to thank everybody supporting me. Everybody that that know, you know what I'm saying? God is so good. I'm relaxed. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. God is good, man. You know? He's good. He's great. He's great. He's great. You know what I'm saying? He's good. And I'm doing it for me and my children. And get right. Dexter. Make the world get better. Riz, what's your thoughts on that, man? What's your thinking on young Dex? Well, first off, do you listen to Dex? Or what is the famous Dex? Do you listen to his music? And what do you think about that, man? I've, I've heard a few of his songs. How's his music? Uh, um, Same old shit? Yeah, pretty decent, yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah, for today's climate. Yeah. Same old shit. I got you. Same old shit. <laughs> you ain't got to say it. You a rapper. You a rapper. I get it. They can come to us yeah, and come to us. Same old shit. I got um, you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, pretty decent. Man. video was, but I've seen something not too long ago that looked like he was not not or whatever. So, I mean, if, just stay committed to it, bro. You know what I mean? We you, He's seen too many examples of, I mean, rest in peace, Mac Miller, and you know what I mean? The other homies, like a, a bunch of homies. Like, it's got too many examples that you've seen where that leads. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's a fact. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's good to hear him. God is good. So yeah. Okay, what do you think about that, man? Stick with that. You know what I mean? I think it's great, man. I mean, um, you know, because lo- these guys, when you look at him, you can see that he, you know, he got the tats on his face. Kind of remind you of Lil Wayne a little bit. You know what I mean? So a lot of these dudes that come out now, like Kodak and these cats, was influenced by Wheezy. So wow. I just think a lot of guys, even though they come from that environment, they gotta just be careful not to promote it. You know what I mean? And, you know, ultimately people are going to make that choice to do what they're going to do anyway. But when they, the people, they're influential. So that when some people see them promoting it, they want to do it too. Just like when they was popping the bottles and shit, we wanted to pop the bottles and stuff. So mm-hmm. I think it's a good thing, man, you know, to see him come off. Hopefully he can stay clean. That's you funny know? that you. Yeah, that's the biggest. That's the yeah. biggest. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's early. Right. That's, 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 a, that's a one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? Thing. It's yeah. funny that you bring yeah. Wayne up, man. It, it real it, it, it interests me a lot because in thinking this or on watching him go through this, I'm like, wow, first off, I hope that he continues to do it because you're going to have a lot of people in your comment section, everybody telling you, you ain't going to keep this going. You're lying. You'll be on it next week and everybody will be in your head. You know how these kids are influenced by the phone and all that bullshit. You, if he is genuine and saying this, you don't want him to kind of go astray because of the nonsense. But you bring up Wayne, man, and he had such a heavy influence on so many rappers and one of the the i guess the criticism i give wayne today is he's not giving anybody any substance he's still coming with bars the brother can wrap his ass off no one's denying that but what is he giving to the people what is he giving to the youth that's going to give them something extra to think about and i'm not saying that he's to blame not at all for it but when you look at the tats when you look at the dreads when you look at all of that it does give you just reminiscence of wayne wayne yeah, all day long yeah, rapping facts, everything facts do you think that that holds heavy on his heart? Oh, God, first, and then Riz, I want to get you Wayne's heart, you mean? Yeah, do you think he thinks about uh-huh. that? Because we've seen him just say, rest in peace to Nip. His son was up there looking just like him. It's funny, man. I don't I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, you really can't fully blame him because it's like it's an influence. Again, their parents should be there because it's like, mm-hmm. ultimately, you got to make the choice to pick up this stuff. Nobody's going to force it. You know what I mean? Drink down your throat, pill down your throat, none of that. You got to make that choice to do it and stay on it. Just like you got to make the choice to come off. So, you know, I, I don't think that, um, you know, he feels bad about that. You know what I'm saying? Should he? And, 
Uh, maybe because it's influence. I mean, we talk maybe. about it all the time, man. We when we come on here and right. we're minuscule compared to Wayne's numbers and what he has out there, the people right. that watch him. But we have a responsibility on here. We're gonna give it true, we're gonna give it raw, but we're also going to be respectful. Regardless of anybody we talk about, whether you agree or disagree with what we got to say, mm -hmm. we'll always remain respectful. So that's because we we hold a responsibility to the people that we get to. Mm -hmm. So do you know he he does you think he feels it at all? You think that he should? <sighs> My man, you know, he 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 you know, he, he talked about what he did in his music. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like he was necessarily telling somebody, I mean, you're gonna do this is good for you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He, you know, I um, mean at the time I thought it was cool. And I mean the way he put it together and all that. I thought it was hot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did it good, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's definitely gonna have its effects on, on certain people out there because you know, cast that I seen, you know, they was trying to they was doing it because they heard they did it. They drunk the lean because they heard they did it, and then they found it out in the street. And that's they know they was doing lean, and then they was doing this and they was doing that. So yeah, man, it definitely has a uh, you know, influence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, what you think? I mean I mean, I'm pretty sure Wayne probably was influenced by, say, like a Pimp C, Rest in Peace, or somebody. You know yeah, what I mean? So it's like, it's basically like a cycle. As far as I want to um, touch on real quick what you said about as far as like the tattoos and stuff like that, like the that the um, the look. I mean, he did all that and grabbed a guitar, so obviously he was mimicking basically the rock stars. They looked mm. like that for years. Mm. Mm. That's a good point. So if it if you waited until Wayne, I'm, basically what I'm saying is you can't point your finger at Wayne like that was there. You know what I mean? Not right, right. Great right, point, right. yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. If, if if once Wayne did it and then this next generation just decided to pick it up, I mean, that was, we seen that. You know what I mean? It was mostly the white boys or whatever, but we seen that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The tattoos and, the, you know what I mean? And all that. So we didn't do, you know what I mean? That. Right, right. <laughs> we right. came up seeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's true. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? Your influences. How strong are, are you a leader or follower? You know what I mean, basically. Right. Facts. Rand, go ahead. Okay, you got something? No, no. Was... Off the cuff, Riz. I just want to ask you. This is random, man. This is straight random. Top five rappers in the game right now to you? Mm. You know what? No, that's that's a broad fucking top <laughs> yeah. three. Your top three. In the game right now. Yeah. Damn. Dead or alive or? Would, it's in the game now. In the game in now. The game All right, right in the game. Let's, right, let's put it in the right game now. now. It's too good. In the Active game now. Right now. In the game now. My top three. Yeah. Um, that I'm currently that I've been listening to is um not in a um particular order, but it would be um Benny the Butcher, um Okay, Conway the Machine and West Side Gun. All, all Griselda. Yeah. They they can spit. That's a fact. That's a bold statement, man. I, mean, I don't dis I'm not saying I disagree with you, but them yeah. motherfuckers is all nasty. Yeah. yeah. My, my my guy put me on them um a few years ago and mm -hmm. I've been hooked. You know what I mean? I'm, I went through a period of time and it was, I'm not listening to anything, but that, I mean, that catalog so broad, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just listening to them like, because that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? So that had seen like, oh shit, there's some dudes currently doing this now. Like that was crazy to me. You know what I mean? So I fucks with them. I respect them. I like what they doing. You got the, uh, the feature with Conway mm -hmm. and you obviously, was, that record's off the hook as soon as we heard it because you yeah. were promoting Ralph and Ralph. I love Ralph and Man. we yeah. have Ralph promoting and then we had some paperwork things going on. But Ralph is dope and shout out to anybody that the Ralph is still in my description box. So if you want to hear that more music by Riz, go ahead and let, drop the description box. You'll see that. But mm. you you name all platforms. Mm. We ain't playing. Yeah. But you you look at them three in particular and they don't get the notoriety mm. or, or the push as a lot of people. Now you're genuine rappers. I remember first hearing Benny the Butcher. Conway the Machine. Mm -hmm. um, I remember hearing these these names in Griselda Records in the Tattoo Parlor last year with my man uh, Angel, and he was rocking the records. And I was like, "Yo, who are these?" And you know, this is Benny, this is Conway, this is Bobby. And I was like, "Yo, damn, these boys can spit. This is hard." Yeah. And I was trying to put on other shit. I ain't gonna name the names because these rappers are dope. He's like, mm, "You need to listen to this." And I'm just like, it broke you back to the the Wu Tang and just the that gutter music and them old intros we used to listen to, man.